Imagine being totally fine one day and then the next you're having hallucinations, seizures, memory loss, even trouble talking. It's called brain on fire disease. Marty Salt reports on the journey of one young woman who experienced this rare and mysterious illness. Hunting, mountain biking, horseback riding, you name it, Katie Miller would do it until she couldn't. I just didn't feel like myself, like normal. Katie said, uh, Mom, I feel like my brain snapped. Local doctors admitted Katie into a psychiatric ward, but what was happening to Katie wasn't mental, it was physical. What happens is you're perfectly normal one day and uh, suddenly overnight, um, this person can become paranoid, can start having visual hallucinations, auditory hallucinations. Anti-NMDA receptor encephalitis, also known as brain on fire disease, is misdiagnosed as a psychiatric disorder in up to 40% of patients. So for many of the females, especially after puberty, they can develop what's called an ovarian dermoid cyst or an ovarian teratoma. These cysts often have hair and teeth in them. The immune system sees it as foreign and attacks it, but... In these cysts, there is a component of tissue that really is brain tissue. Within four days, Katie was catatonic and needed a ventilator to breathe. There is no single approved treatment. That's why a five-year nationwide clinical trial is testing whether a drug called inebolizumab will stop the assault on the brain. Katie had her cyst removed. She can't remember three months of her life, but now, and with various medications, Katie is on her way to recovery. Marty Salt, 16 News Now. Wow, and up to 50% of patients can suffer long-term consequences, especially cognitive and mood symptoms. Recovery is also often slow over months to years, and patients required prolonged hospital stays. If you want to learn more, just head to our website and click on this story. We'll be right back.